Hello students, today we are going to discuss the solutions for all in a cash test series that is AIATS test number 5 for chemistry. So let's start with question number 46 which says that if degree of dissociation is 0 0.5 at equilibrium then the equilibrium constant Kc for the given reaction. Now you have a reaction hai, that is 2HI giving H2 and I2. So let's suppose you have only one mole of HI initially. Fine. And at equilibrium, it will be 1 minus alpha and H2 and I2 will be alpha by 2 and alpha by 2. So now you have been given the degree of dissociation that is 0 0.5 which means alpha kitna ho gaya? 0.5. So HI ke moles ho jayenge 1 minus 0.5 so it will be equal to 0.5 and H2 ke moles will be alpha by 2 that is 0 0.5 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.25 and the moles of I2 will be also 0 0.25. So since you have to find out the Kc for the given reaction. So you need to know the concentration. So the concentration will be moles divided by volume. So you have 0.5 divided by volume and you have 0.25 divided by volume and here also 0.25 divided by volume. Now write the expression for equilibrium constant Kc. So it will be equal to concentration of H2 multiplied by concentration of I2 divided by concentration of HI square because the sociometric coefficient of HI is equal to 2. Um, now substitute the values here. H2 ki concentration hai 0 0.25 by V and I2 is also 0 0.25 by V divided by HI concentration that is 0 0.5 by V whole square. So, agar aap ise calculate karenge, your answer will come out to be 0 0.25. So, the value of Kc is equal to 0 0.25. So, option number 2 will be our correct answer. So moving on to the next one, students we have question number 47 which says that which of the following set has delta HF not equal to 0. So what do you mean by delta HF not? This is the standard enthalpy of formation. Standard enthalpy of formation. And standard enthalpy of formation kise kehte hain? And standard enthalpy of formation for a substance is equal to when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements in the most stable state or the reference state. Ab yahan pe you have been given the which of the following has the value of delta H naught F equal to 0. So delta H naught F kin elements ka 0 hota hai which are present in the most stable state. The elements present in their most stable state. So, un elements ka hum standard enthalpy of formation kya lete hai? 0. So, most stable state ka matlab kya hua ki they are occurring as the natural state. Or the most stable allotropic form. first option we have been given phosphorus white and you know that phosphorus ki stable form kaun si hai? P4. So it is incorrect. Ab yahan pe you have been given O3 gas and oxygen ki jo stable form hai, that is O2 with, and it is not O3. So this is also incorrect. And Cl2 gas 
एंड जो सी की नेचुरल फॉर्म है इट इज ए सी एल टू सो दिस इज करेक्ट एंड सेकेंड ऑप्शन में देखते हैं आई टू सॉलिड सो आई टू इज द मोस्ट स्टेबल फॉर्म ऑफ आयोडीन एंड नाउ यू हैव पी फोर वाइट अब यहाँ पे देयर इज अ ट्विस्ट वी हैव ब्लैक फॉस्फोरस द स्टेबल फॉर्म बट वी आर टेकिंग डेल्टा एच नॉट फॉर्मेशन फॉर वाइट फॉस्फोरस इक्वल टू जीरो सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस एक्सेप्शन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ बी आर टू इन लिक्विड फॉर्म दैट इज ऑल्सो इन द मोस्ट स्टेबल फॉर्म सो मीन्स डेल्टा एच नॉट फॉर्मेशन विल बी जीरो इन दिस केस ऑल्सो सो ऑप्शन नंबर टू विल बी आर करेक्ट आंसर नाउ यू हैव इन दर्ड फॉर्म आई टू इन द सॉलिड फॉर्म दैट विल हैव द जीरो डेल्टा एच नॉट फॉर्मेशन Now you have calcium carbonate solid, so this is a compound which will not have delta H not formation zero. And here also water is the compound. Now in the fourth one you have O two gas which will have delta H not formation equal to zero. Br two liquid you have also delta H not formation equal to zero. And but for phosphorus P black the delta H not formation will not equal to zero. So option number two will be our correct answer. So students, moving on to the next one, we have question number forty-eight, which says that equal moles of nitrogen, hydrogen, and NH three are present in a container, which are effusing from an orifice at temperature twenty-seven degrees Celsius. After passing some time, the correct order of the partial pressure in the container is. So suppose you have a container. in which nitrogen is present hydrogen is present and nh3 is present and now they are effusing from an orifice and you know that the rate of effusion is inversely proportional to square root of the molar mass ab yahan pe dekhte hain the molar mass of nitrogen is highest and the molar mass of the hydrogen is lowest so sabse zyada rate of effusion kiska hoga hydrogen will have the highest rate of effusion so agar hydrogen gas ka sabse highest rate of effusion hai so the partial pressure of hydrogen gas left in the container will be very लेस तो यानी कि इन द कंटेनर द पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ नाइट्रोजन विल बी हाइएस्ट एज इट्स रेट ऑफ डिफ्यूजन इज लोएस्ट एंड देन यू हैव पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ एमोनियम एंड द लीस्ट विल बी फॉर पार्शियल प्रेशर फॉर हाइड्रोजन सो ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री विल बी आर करेक्ट आंसर So moving on to the next one, we have question number forty-nine, which says that the pH of point zero five molar aqueous solution of weak acid that is HA is. So you have a weak acid HA, which is dissociating to form H plus and A minus. Suppose you have concentration that is C at time zero. So इक्लियोब्रेन पे कितना हो जाएगा इट विल बी इक्वल टू सी माइनस सी आल्फा सी आल्फा एंड सी आल्फा आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू सो नाउ यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन फॉर एच प्लस दैट इज इक्वल टू सी आल्फा सो वी कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस विच इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट के ए इन टू सी सो के ए की वैल्यू में पता है दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर इंटू टेन रेस टू दावर माइनस फोर and concentration is 0.05 so you will get the value here 4.97 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 so now you have to calculate the ph so you must be knowing the formula for ph that is equal to minus log of concentration of h plus so substitute the value of h plus here so it is equal to minus log of 
फोर पॉइंट नाइन सेवन इंटू टेन रेज टू दावर माइनस थ्री सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट दिस योर आंसर विल कम आउट टू बी टू पॉइंट थ्री फाइव सो ऑप्शन नंबर टू विल बी दी करेक्ट आंसर So students, moving on to the next one now. You have question number fifty, which is related to the thermochemistry. So we have a reaction that is N two H four plus hydrogen giving ammonia, and you have been given the bond energy of N N bond, H H bond, and N H bond, and you have to calculate the delta H naught formation for ammonia. As I have already told you that standard enthalpy of formation of any compound is the enthalpy change when one mole of compound is formed by the elements which are present in their most stable states or the reference state. अगर मुझे अमोनिया का delta H not formation निकालना है, so reactant should be present in the most stable state. And now you have been given the reaction that is N two H four plus hydrogen, which is giving two ammonia. अब यहाँ पे अगर हम हाइड्रोजन की बात करते हैं तो हाइड्रोजन इज इन मोस्ट स्टेबल से दैट इज एच टू गैस बट एन टू एच फोर इज नॉट द स्टेबल स्टेट अगर यहाँ पे आपको दिया होता नाइट्रोजन विद हाइड्रोजन गिविंग अमोनिया देन वी कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट इन थाल ऑफ फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज नाइट्रोजन इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन दोस्ट स्टेबल स्टेट बट यहाँ पे वी कैन नॉट कैलकुलेट दी इंथेरेपी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ड्यू टू दी प्रेजेंस ऑफ एच टू एच फोर सो इट कैन नॉट बी डिटरमाइंड सो ऑप्शन नंबर फोर विल बी आर करेक्ट आंसर सो मूविंग ऑन टू दी नेक्स्ट वन नाउ